Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial for M Crater. So today, what I'm going to be showing you is that black hole uh, procedure thing tutorial, I guess, that I uh, showcased on my uh, channel not too long ago and got you to, guys to vote for what one you wanted between cake and uh, this. Now, as you can see, as I'm flying around, this has been this is probably about a day and a half in game, and it's gotten this big. So, like, it, it does spread very far. Uh, there is no cap on how far it can spread. I think the only limitation is if the chunks are loaded. Um, there's some parts over on that corner that look like they weren't, um, they're kind of flat like that on that surface. I'm not sure if that's normal because I haven't let it run over two days, but um, it could just be the, the way that it's generating because of the, uh, the command blocks and stuff like that, or not the command blocks, the uh, procedures and stuff like that. I tried making it as random as possible, so it's, uh, yeah, here's a good example of it. I don't think this uh, side here was loaded, right in here, so I think it was um, basically just chewing away at this section here. But once it starts uh, updating, um, the side should, like, once the chunks are loaded, it should uh, start chewing away again. So it will eventually devour everything in its path. Including water, bedrock, uh, trees for the most part. Sometimes the leaves get left behind. Um, that seems to be normal with the way that it's generating. But uh, yeah, outside of that, it's completely random. Uh, it will do its best to chew away all the sides. Now all these little dots and stuff like that, I have it at a random decibel. So I was trying to make it a little bit more noisy. You could probably make the uh, the noise on the side of the wall um, a less percentage of basically chewing away at the, the stone, and you probably get more noise, which would be pretty cool. But um, it looks like it just kind of just updates and stuff like that. Now, when you you want to place down a black hole, uh, you could probably do this uh, naturally uh, through procedures as well. Now there is a actual block that is included, so uh, this block is invisible. Now what you didn't actually see over there was it was basically placing this invisible block uh, in the place of the actual blocks. So every time it goes dark like that, what happens is it moves over a new line of blocks. Now you can't actually go in the block, well you can go through the blocks, but you can't actually break the blocks because I've set the hitbox to um, a specific number where it's technically not there. Um, now it is invisible regardless, but uh, if we place one down, uh, let's go place one down over here somewhere. Uh, we can place it pretty much anywhere, and you can run it through procedures. So if you wanted to have it start at the center of the world every time when a new world is created, you could do that. And then it could be like its own little game mode or something like that. So we'll just place one down right around here. And you can kind of hear the block being placed. And it'll just take a couple seconds to update. But you can start seeing that it's starting to spread. Now, uh, as you saw before, it took about one Minecraft day, so 20 minutes to get that big. Um, the more larger it gets, the um, harder it is to avoid. So if it starts at, say, the center center area, the zero zero, then the more that it spreads, the larger it's going to get. Now, if it is only r loading in the chunks that are loaded, so if it's only doing that, then that means it won't be, you could just go outside of the the loading chunks and it probably still work or it wouldn't uh, still load so that might be something to take in consideration but it will grow over time if you're near it um, as you can see it's getting pretty big so let's hop into the actual uh, tutorial and we'll cover the procedure and the block so for the block, you just want a invisible texture. Literally, I just used a transparent texture with nothing in it, so it's um, hidden from point of view, and that won't matter much because we're adjusting the hitbox anyways, but uh, that just makes it a little bit easier to um, hide it and stuff too, right? And then you're going to want a texture for your item 
for the block that you're actually going to be placing it with. Uh, this is actually the through the block itself, so uh, it's a custom icon because you're literally going to be having an invisible block if you place it, so it'll be hard to see in the, the inventory. So we need a custom item to, or custom icon for the block. So I've just used this one right here. I'll make sure to provide that in the workspace as well. So going back to the uh, mod elements, uh, we can click on the block. Uh, you're gonna need to select all your transparent textures for these ones here. Set your item texture for your uh, black hole icon right here. And uh, the only other thing that you need to do is make sure that all of these are set to 0 0.5. And what that will do is it'll remove the hitbox so people can't break it and it will also hide any um, transparent parts and stuff like that too as well. And transparency is good. Uh, translucent I have it set to and um, make sure this box is checked. Under properties, uh, I set the hardness and resistance to the maximum, so it can't be destroyed with explosions. Uh, 64,000 is the cap on both of these for Amp Grader, so I know there's vanilla blocks and stuff that actually go higher than that, but um, that's what we have so far. And uh, you want to have the... Uh, if you want people to be able to place it down, then you're going to want to put the uh, select the creative inventory. And I've just set the material and sound to uh, stone and rock. Uh, you can give it a GUI name, and the rest is pretty much the same. Outside of you want to make sure that people can walk through it, and you probably want to disable block drops as well. I just saw that. Outside of that, let's move on. Advanced properties. I have a tick rate to 100. Now this will basically affect how fast it updates. Now you probably want it anywhere from 100 to anywhere um, higher than 100 because if it's shorter than 100 or I think it's five seconds if it's 100, uh, five or 20 times. Yeah, it's about five seconds. So um, if it's less than five seconds, it's going to probably lag quite a bit. Um, I have it optimized where it won't lag that much. As you can see, I can still record without minimum lag and stuff because it was running on the server side, but um, it's best to just have it update at a slower interval uh, so it doesn't uh, affect the performance for the, every computer and stuff. Uh, outside of that, you might want to set the block color on map to something like this. You could also set it to air, that would work as well, and then people wouldn't be able to see it, so you could set it to air and that would work. Um, outside of that, this page is done. Uh, tile entity, you don't need it. And um, for liquid and energy, or fluid storage and energy, you don't need. Uh, now the only procedure you need is an update tick and uh, to be honest this is a really complicated one uh, it's like really complicated because so the procedure is all coordinate based and I highly suggest just um, actually going to my the project page and just downloading the procedure because it's it's really complicated with the coordinates and there isn't any particular easy way to set it up uh, just because it's it's really complicated because you have to calculate where the uh, position uh, relative to the block that it currently is at and there's like three different sections to all this uh, if you want to download it I will provide the workspace as well as the procedures and the textures just like I usually do um, but again, uh, you can see that it's pretty complex and this is broken up into sections just to keep it a little bit more simple. I'm not going to cover how it, basically, uh, how to set each individual block up, but, um, I will explain what's going on. So the first thing that we're doing is we're making sure that it's running on server side. So if not is provided. Uh, world remote client. So this basically means it's going to be running on server side. This helps the performance for the blocks to not lag the client when it's actually updating because it would be also updating on the client side. Uh, that's important for performance. 
So this one right here, uh, this section right here, what we're doing is we're running it at a random interval. And we can do that because it's running on um, server side. So each one of these is completely random separate to itself. Then what we're doing is we're testing if there isn't a block there. Now that block is basically air. And then what we're doing is testing again if it's not the black hole. Uh, reason for that is we don't want it to replace the black hole itself or replace air that's left behind. Now after that, what it's doing is basically placing a black hole at that same uh, location. So that's basically that's all that's happening. It's just doing that per coordinate. And uh, like I said, it's a lot of things to cover and I think it's just easier for you guys to download the uh, project and um, get the workspace uh, and the procedures and stuff like that. That way you can just plop it in and update these two um, blocks here on each one to your black hole thing. The air should actually stay so you wouldn't have to update all that but you do need to replace these two right here to your actual black hole in your mod. Hopefully you guys found today's tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video or what you disliked. And uh, rating the video also helps. Get the um, views and stuff like that uh, from other parts of YouTube. Uh, it's a very competitive uh, industry, so uh, you know showing your support by rating the video does help. And uh, if you want to stay notified, consider clicking the bell button if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.